Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the English News. Here are the headlines of our edition tonight. The head of state, His Excellency Mr. Ismail Omar Gale, attend the fourth anniversary celebration of Mulud. Continental news uh, uh, the president uh, the Rwanda president say that in, in uh, African Union will be uh, more powerful than the uh, Union of uh, European welcome ladies and gentlemen the head of state Mr. Ismail Margili preside this morning a big ceremony on the occasion of fourth anniversary of the creation of the village of Mulud located in the Dekhil unit area a ceremony Organized by the uh, committee of the fourth anniversary of creation, the village of Mulud, chaired by Mr. Mahmoud Roble, and compose all all citizens in the region with the large populations of the Dekhil population from all localities. At the beginning of uh, his creation, Mulud was a plain today. It's a village in Dawid with various bad infrastructure and in the future so the progress achieves Mulud aspire to become a modern city. Mulud was a former agriculture village with the recognized potentialities that takes So Mulud was uh, a former agriculture village with recognized potentialities that takes its name from a sherb woods breed on the outstrakes of Al Wad Al Mulud. At the beginning, a drilling is carried out in 1973 and in 1978, the government launched a first pilot project to operate a perimeter 24 families with a remarkable production sold on the markets of the region and the capital. <laughs> Seventy-nine hundred families were installed in Mulut, followed by the realization of basic development infrastructure. And today, the basic school has more than eight hundred students and high school students, and are more than one hundred enrolled in school. In the chiefly 
of the southern region today Mulud is endowed with a medical structure managed by the native of Mulud. In terms of uh, urbanization change is is uh, is available in Mulud families all have individual house in this village the extends of several kilometer the village of Mulud had already provided itself in the agro agropastoral field with an export to the markets of fruits and vegetables pursued produced on the spot and is still a fertile land that needs to be worked. In this model village, the first uh, show marking work is already oper operational. Currently, confections are made to order by the workshop has a production capacity of thousands of units of both civil and military shoes. On the occasion of fourth anniversary of the creation of the village of Mulut, several speakers spoke at the officials' platform in the ed educational structure. First, of, um, first a member of the organizing committee, uh, Mr. Suleiman Hassan Farah, took the floor to congratulate the president and the first lady for their participation in the ceremony of uh, the fourth anniversary of uh, the creation of the village of Mulud. This intervention was followed by the presentation of uh, a poem in Somali called Buran, uh, Brambur, performed by Mrs. Nima Hassan Suge. Below are the interventions of another member of organization of organizing a committee, Mr. Farah Dali Ledir, who finds forward the social change of the literary sense, its creation and its aspirations for the future. Subsequently, the perfect of uh, the unit area, Mr. Mohammed Sheikh Hassan, spoke to congratulate the organizing committee of uh, the event, all from Mulud, who uh, did a great job for the 60th of 40th anniversary of the creation of the village. He asked to preserve uh, the uh, natural resource of uh, the uh, region. Production is likely to be straightened thanks to a land that has always been fertile. He also asked the native of Mulud to to keep this natural resource of Mulud. In his first speech, the President of the Republic testified his bride presided over the ceremony of fourth anniversary of the creation of the village of Mulud. He said that this event coincide, coincide with the activities of celebration of the fourth anniversary of the party. HPP, the head of state, has uh, indicated that this for a human being, the evaluation is not uh, payable directly. The history indicates that the mutation of Mulud is a success and it's also an example to retain for the population of Djibouti. Mulud is a tangible proof of the government's effort to develop the populations of Mulud. In 1979, we encouraged the Mulud is uh, agro-pastoralism since the day they have not given up and have involved themselves, he added. Here the president said also this activity and today they, they can enjoy their victory. The president specified that our country does not have minerals or oil but has human resources. The proof is visible today with the example of Mulud, which become a clean village thanks to its population, which ensure their own development and that of the country to, be, uh, to the future. The young people of Mulud keep the deep roots of their village. After studies, they immigrated, uh, they returned and launch reflections and action to to improve the situation of social development. He said that the minister in charge of the uh, problematic of the water is present today. The, the populations of Mulud complain and ask him to satisfy the need of water. If uh, previously we are we are, we are asking not to exceed. 120 meter. I ask the minister to make all arrangements to fetch water beyond 200 meter further up to 40 uh, meters. Beyond there is the big bara where the rain are frequent and this water uh, will be, uh, that then we must find solution to conserve and availability this water 
for the needs of agro-pastoral activities of Mulud recognized to be a fertile land and we ask the traditional predators to combine the agriculture with the activity of ancestral uh, branding he uh, concluded the first part of his speech and then uh, the uh, president says that uh, stress the importance to uh, bring together uh, to uh, celebrate the fourth anniversary we invited to celebrate with them uh, this uh, festive with my side the and the first lady of the country regarding social housing in Mulud I make the commitment uh, that the vulnerable families of Mulud will be able to benefit from social housing program uh, the president also announced that the medical plants are growing and invite the health authorities to take into account this reality. He also congratulated the, all, uh, the Mulud Fest who opened a shoes production unit for the arm boots. Also, he said, I granted a donation of 500 date plants uh, for the benefit of the populations of Mulud. I take this opportunity to say the president to uh, congratulate our great artist who are with us the international scene he asked the public to do everything to keep him in the country uh, is say is one of the popular regarding uh, and regarding agropastoralism in the mulu sector is very uh, fertile many varieties of fruits and vegetable grow thanks to the climate uh, conductive to agriculture finally the head of state close his speech by retiring his thanks to Mulud for the organization of fourth the creation of the uh, village of Mulud after uh, the official speech the uh, president of the republic uh, took part in a ceremony of three uh, plantation in the educational structure of Mulud the uh, ceremony of the fourth anniversary of the creation was animated by talented uh, artists including the group of young talent but also uh, the uh, Djiboutian singer who participated in the event. The new headquarters of the United Nations Organization for Migrants hosted a meeting of the steering community yesterday for the project uh, Perennial Solutions for host population refugees and the most vulnerable migrants present at this meeting with the Minister of Interior, Mr. Hassan Omar, the Minister of Women and Family, but also the Ambassador of the European Union, Mr. Adan, and the head of the mission of the OEM in Djibouti, Mrs. Lalini, and also several Parliament Executive Secretary of the Owners, Mr. Hussein Hassan. The Minister of Interior, Mr. Hassan Omar, co chaired the steering committee of the project Perennial Solutions for Host Population Refugees and Most Vulnerable Migrants to deliver a speech in which he explained the people of our country who always welcome refugees but also lately vulnerable migrants whom she welcomes as her own children the national agency of disabled people people is pleased to welcome today in its premises the director of the regional institute of health and social training in this regard a warm and a courtesy uh, visit the minister of muslim affairs culture and welfare uh, mr momen hassan Barr received this morning in his office the courtesy visit 
of the ambassador of the Federal Republic of Germany accredited to Djibouti, Mrs. Anke. Uh, this meeting took place in the presence of the Secretary General of the Minister, Mr. Mohammed Ahmed Sultan. The minister welcomed the ambassador and the full successes in her missions our country. He stressed in this respect that the two countries maintain good relation of cooperation in the different field. For her, for her part, the Minister Ambassador thanked the Minister for the warm welcome that he received. She welcomed this visit as part of the exchange on various issues of common interest in order to further strengthen the bilateral relation between the two friendly countries. The Ambassador expressed his willingness to work for the uh, consolidations of tie of friendship and corporations Djibouti German. At the end of this visit, both parties returned their willingness to work together to promote a fruitful partnership. And now on continental news, the Rwanda uh, president delivered this opinion in an interview with the Kenyan side the East African the opportunity for uh, Paul Kagame to address many issues inherent in the, the news in East Africa, but especially to talk about the future of the African Union, of which he was present in office in 2080 before he was the witness to the Egyptians president. And according to to the Rwandan, uh, pr Rwandan president, the AU has a promising future. The organizations can even be at the same pitch as the others, including the European Union. It's possible that the AU will become as strong as the European Union. However, now Mr. P uh, Kagame said uh, the AU, the uh, uh, European Union has uh, 28 countries, while the African continent has. Uh, 45, uh, it will be uh, more difficult to bring together uh, 45 countries than, the, uh, than to bring together 28 states. Here we finish our news today. Thank you for watching us. Goodbye.